Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sidekar. In this video, we are going to compare the iQOO 7 SE device versus iQOO 7 smartphone. So is it the best option to buy the iQOO 7 device right now or not? The main reason of me uploading this video is because right now there is a sale going on in the Amazon website on the iQOO 7 device. There is a 3000 rupees instant coupon discount is available. As you can see friends right now, 3000 rupees coupon discount and you can actually buy this iQOO 7 device for about 26,990 without any bank offer. If you do add the bank offer, for example, Bank of Baroda, you can actually get additional 2000 rupees discount using EMI transactions and non-EMI transaction, you can get 1500 rupees discount. As you can see friends, overall, so if you try to use a non-EMI transaction, so 1500 will be the discount overall, 4500 rupees discount will be applicable on this iQOO 7 device. So right now, few users they want to know, should they wait for the iQOO 7 SE device or should they buy the iQOO 7 device? That's what this video is about exactly. Because very soon the iQOO gonna release the iQOO 7 SE because in China the phone got released on the name of iQOO Neo 6 SE. So in Indian market that phone gonna release with the iQOO 7 SE that's what we can actually expect regarding the leaks and rumors in terms of the naming so if that's the case there are a couple of things you should definitely understand between these both phones what are the advantages in this iq 7 sd device what are the advantages in this iq 7 device all these aspects so first thing is that both phones they do have the same snapdragon 870 chipset exactly same snapdragon 870 so the performance may not be able to be a much difference between these both phones and Display is of 120Hz display will be there, AMOLED display panel, same kind of display can be observed, 6.62 inch screen size, same kind of screen size also can be there in the iQOO 7 SE also. But the main change is regarding the charging speed and the battery capacity. Because charging battery capacity, the iQOO 7 SE has got 4700 mAh of battery capacity. So slightly really good in the iQOO 7 SE device. So battery backup, backup slightly improved and charging speed, 80 watts charging speed. So which can charge in around 30 minutes of time. That's what the estimated time is exactly. And right now the iQOO 7 with a 4400 mAh of battery capacity, this phone takes to about close to 35 minutes to charge after the Android 12 update. So overall in the battery backup and charging speed, we might see slightly advantage in the iQOO 7 SE device. That's the one area which uh, I can actually see regarding the change. Next thing is about the upgrade of the megapixel from the 14 megapixel to the 64 megapixel of the camera sensor has been also upgraded regarding the camera sensor. Apart from that, the phone will be releasing with the Android 12 iQOO 7 SE device. That's also another advantage. iQOO 7 did release Android 11. So Android 12 and Android 13 are the updates. That's it. And I, uh, Android 13 and Android 14 are the updates in the iQOO 7 SE device. These are the updates about the Android versions in the iQOO 7 SE device. So overall, friends, if you ask me, there will be more 5G bands and more and one more extra Android update you are getting in this device and slightly better battery backup and slightly better fast charging you are getting in this iQOO 7 SE device. But another thing is that whatever the price of this phone because in China the price of this phone got released around 23,000 rupees that's what the price in China market is so we are not sure friends exactly what will be the price overall for the iQ 7 SE if it's getting released in India so I'm expecting anywhere close to this 26,000 27,000 range only regarding the price of this Snapdragon 870 because iQOO and SE they are released with the 30,000 rupees if you remember so that's what we can actually expect the iQOO 7 also to become around 27,000 rupees iQOO 7 SE device Meanwhile, signing off friends, thank you for watching. This is a quick comparison between these both phones and touch sampling rate and rest of the things are kind of very similar. Not even. And final conclusion is that, is it worth to buy the iQOO 7 right now or not? I would say definitely ask you guys to wait in case if you are uh, not in an urgent situation to buy a smartphone, then definitely you can wait for the iQOO 7 SE as well because the price is going to be slightly less than this iQOO 7 device. That's what you're expecting at this moment, depending on the China prices. So meanwhile, signing off friends, uh, definitely wait for the upcoming smartphones and good deals also. The iQOO 7, if it's getting close to 25,000 rupees, 24,000, no, pro no problem, no doubt, this is a really good deal, but less 5G bands, not uh, one more extra Android update you are getting, not that battery backup when compared with the iQOO 7 SE device, you got battery capacity and charging speed as well everything so meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching and let's for more updates and bye